you need tonight A little something to whet your appetite And it's gonna make you feel alright Sweet gravy and karma kirk Check them out as they go to work c -c congratulations on your new podcast Now open up a can of whoop ass And blast, blast, blast And I hope you like this show. Wow. Oh. Well, yeah. Ooh, Carmen, welcome back to another episode of Sweet Gravy. Welcome back. <laughs> Happy New Year. It's yeah. the first of the year. Almost. No, it when this is published, it'll be the first January of the year. First. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get that. This is not that well, we're, we're a day early, so it throws me off a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes I don't even look at the calendar. Uh -huh. The days just fly past unless I have an important date coming up, I guess. Okay. So, Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a safe New Year's Eve. Yeah, everybody uh, making those New Year resolutions. Revolutions? That never come through. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't the, you think that? I think it's a good thing, though. So time to reset your brain and focus on new things for the next year uh our friend johnny i was texting with him and i said uh he's like how you doing and i said oh, i can't wait to ring in the new year he said new year same me and i i believe that i believe that it's a new year the same nobody really changes no right? i mean but it is a nice thing to be able to like uh clear your brain a little bit and be like hey i gotta focus on these things for the next year you know what I mean? But do people do that? I don't think they Some do, do. But it's it's a refresher where you kind of reflect on the things you need to do, and that's important. I think. Okay. Like I have to constantly keep on writing list and then rewriting list and then mm -hmm. rewriting list because this list don't get done, and then right. now I got extra shit, and it's so it's a good time to refresh. I think. Uh huh. Well, Christmas is over now. But if you write the list and you don't do the things on the list, what good? Then are I write the another list? list. But what good are they in the first place? I don't know. But if I don't have a list, then I'm definitely not going to do the <laughs> stuff. You don't have the list. <laughs> yeah. Christmas passed. Yeah. Did you enjoy your Christmas? It was good. You think so? Sure. I got you a cool air fryer. Yeah. Yeah, it's a small one, but it's I fig small. I figured it was perfect for the kitchen. I mean, well, my thought process was, how much shit do you need to put in the air fryer? Like, you're not making whole meals in there. It's just for you snacks, can. right? You can put whole meals in there. <laughs> it was just a video of this lady. She used a coffee filter and then put oil at the bottom and fried mm -hmm. fish in it. Mm -hmm. And it was like, isn't that, doesn't that defeat the purpose? It defeats the purpose. Yeah. But what they tell you is to have like a spray bottle of oil mm -hmm. and you spray the stuff with the oil. Yeah. And that's the same thing too. Exactly. Because it's just you're, less. It's, it's the surface area of the oil that you're cooking with, mm -hmm. you know? So if you coat it with oil and then it would be the same as... You know, boiling it in oil because that's what deep frying is, right? Mm -hmm, is boil something in an oil. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't but, know. It's cool. It it's uh, it makes things crispy really mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah, it works very fast. Mm -hmm. So it took the pork chops some time. I put some pork chops in there, and it took. Well, I feel like with the pork chops, I don't know if you're supposed to. Yes. If I'm making pork chops inside of a pan with oil, yeah, I'm gonna and I want to add some flour to them i'll like do that but i don't know how it works in an air fryer mm -hmm. it works it does just as you think it would yeah sure <laughs> i got some cheese i'm just saying today. it took about the same amount of time as if you would do it in a pan yeah. okay i told you you should go on youtube and check it out yeah i don't need no youtubes well i got cheese sticks to see how those will work the problem is with cheese sticks in the air fryer you can't do them too long then they're gonna bust out they're gonna bleed out I know, and then you know I'm notorious for losing all the cheese in my you cheese sticks. You lose all the cheese. You like to say that you don't. Uh, it's because I, I fucking walk away from stuff. Like mm -hmm. things that cook in two minutes, I'm going to burn or it. Or you're right next to it. You're just looking at your phone. Or that Mentally too. walk away. Yeah. <laughs> at work, I'd be always like doing stuff like, like at work if I have to deal with bread, I'm probably going to burn the bread the first time. Mm -hmm. But the second time, I might burn it the second time too. But the third time I got it. For mm -hmm. sure. The third time you're like, yeah. It's just like when you're doing so many things and then bread cooks so fast, it's like, God mm -hmm. damn it, like I done burned it again. Yeah. I don't like using timers. 
Yeah. I hate using timers, alarms, all that stuff. It just rattles my brain. Yeah, you don't need the air fry anything because it's too <laughs> close to baking. It's too close to which is something a you can't follow the recipe. <laughs> Like I gotta melt the butter, then let it cool, and then use it. That don't make no sense. I just do it my way. Yeah, I just do it the way okay, I want. Okay. Well, so. you think that things that's created by science, you should follow the recipe on, like a box of hamburger helper. It's been already measured out and put right. into. They know a box. the best way to make it, and how do whatever they, and whatever you do is not better than what they tell you how to make it. Okay, but what, Jesus. because I've had your hamburger helper. And oh my god! So not I'm not making good, good hamburger helper. No. Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> you got to spice it up sometimes. You know, it's funny because my friend Will, like every day, he asks me what we have for dinner. And uh, so Christmas, you made uh, some like roasted vegetables and mm -hmm. uh, uh, roasted beef mm -hmm. and uh, mac and cheese. Oh my god! And I sent him a picture of this of my plate, and he said, "Oh, you got craft so fancy." And I said, "I can't even get the woman to make craft. She won't do it. She can't do it. She always has to make it from scratch." We I was so mad. We used that government cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is not. I mean, we have it. We got to use it, but like. I think that it's garbage time for that. Yeah. Well, I'm there's so, none left. Yeah. Did you throw it away? No, we had it. Oh, I, okay. I didn't know that the rest My first night with the air fryer, I made some uh, uh, Oh yeah. Some uh, nice uh, steak fries. You put the cheese in there too? And I put the cheese. Oh my God. No, I melted the cheese separately. And then oh. I poured it on after, like nachos. Like fried nachos. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like that type of stuff. You the guy that go to Taco Bell and get the nacho fries. They they got good seasoning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although they're kind of sweet a little bit. A little sweet? Yeah, it's a little sweet. What's your problem with sweet stuff? You don't like any type of food with sweet on it. That's not true. I, I gotta, like sweet things. Yeah, but for like dessert. Mm -hmm. No, I like a barbecue sauce. Yeah, I guess. That's uh -huh. fine. Yeah. But like candy yams. No. You ain't gonna eat candy yam. Squash. Right. You know. Butternut squash. I like a, a nice Monte Cristo sandwich, mm -hmm. but without the, the jelly. Without the jelly? Yeah. What jelly they put on it? They put like a raspberry jelly in there. On a Monte Cristo? Yeah. You don't have to have it like that. I know, but that's. I a, never get mine with no a, damn jelly. That's a, pro that's a proper way to have it, typically. Yeah. You'll get it with like a, some jelly and then uh, powdered sugar on top. That's like oh common, yeah, because they fry it in egg, the yeah, Monte Cristo. That's a common thing. Yeah, I don't like. I never get mine like that though. But I always get it a little bit more savory. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that with the, with a sandwich. Right. But uh, I do. Like got, you shouldn't have to have a sweet sandwich. That's weird. I mean, but, it's uh, they the make they jelly. make those holiday the uh, Thanksgiving sandwiches with the turkey yeah, dressing, like and then they put cranberry sauce on it. Yeah. When I was working at that deli, and. Uh, Every Thursday they would have the uh, Thanksgiving sandwich, mm -hmm. and then like uh, the dude was like, "You got to put the cranberry sauce on there." I was like, "What?" I was like, "Because I wouldn't eat anything like that." I mean, I wouldn't I, eat I, the cranberry okay, sauce. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the sandwich, and I have gotten it multiple times, and it is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. From there? No. Oh hell no! <laughs> I wasn't getting it from the place you worked at. Mm. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Only roast beef from there. Oh no, I got I got roast beef from there. It looked like they went to the grocery store in the deli aisle and picked it up. I was like, they absolutely not. They could have. It could have been a. Off if I'm gonna week. eat roast beef, it needs to be rare, and mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat thinly sliced, fully cooked roast beef. Mm -hmm. right. And you might as well just go to Subway at that point. Eat fresh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have a totally revamped menu. Mm -hmm. They've got like. Like fifteen different s new subs now. At Subway. Yeah, Subway. Do they? Yeah. Oh, they got one at Walmart. But, and they got like weird names like the Monster and the yeah the you know the quarterback and. I mean, Subway is is one of the uh, best running franchises anyway. Mm -hmm. So they they don't have to do too much revamping. If you put it in a spot where you have business, if you put it in the right spot, a Subway is going to make a lot of money regardless. It doesn't matter if they got extra stuff, but. I mean, they got to do something because them five dollar footlongs ain't popping no more. No, Even no. Little Caesars piece of uh, hot and ready is five fifty five now. Mm -hmm. They went up on the price, which they had to because the product, the ingredients, is more expensive now. Right. So they probably still ain't making much money off of 
of the hot and ready's just because they gotta pay more money for the ingredients. Right. But hey, five fifty five. Yeah. Five and the five dollar foot longs, it was yeah. popping, and then they just take them, took them off the menu. Mm-hmm. And then no, not. they didn't take them off the menu. They took the they took the price off. The, they changed the price. The but, sandwiches are still there. Yeah. Well, they're not five dollar foot longs no, no more. Now it's like eight bucks. Yeah, that's rude. Mm-hmm. That's so rude. Why would you buy a sandwich for eight dollars that you could get for five dollars? And, and what if you got the sandwich three days in a row, mm-hmm. and the third day was the day they changed the price? Like, oh Whoa. hell no! <laughs> like, I lived in this apartment building, and at the on the ground floor of it, there is a, uh, and this is when the five dollar foot long. Because remember, like sandwich, they were expensive, and when Subway did the five dollar foot long, like that was a deal. Mm-hmm. Like oh, they're doing five dollar foot longs now course i gotta go get one i gotta go get one well uh this uh sub shop opened up at the bottom of my apartment building and it was called the endo u.s substation Mm -hmm. and it started and it was just a it was just a subway like knockoff like 100 Mm percent the endo u.s it wasn't like a fancy like a like a penn station or like a quiznos or anything Mm -hmm. like that they just were quiznos Stop saying, stop throwing Quiznos in the mix. Quiznos is the best. I don't, I can't eat Quiznos. It's the best. But uh, they uh, they just did basic subs. That's it. Mm-hmm. And whenever you, when they first opened, it was like gangbusters, man. They, they, they had like a line out the door, tons of people because it was downtown Louisville, right? Yeah, of course. Perfect location for it. Yeah. And, and then like, at the end of the month, I take my buddy there, and we get some sandwiches, and I get a spicy Italian. Mm-hmm. And they use these little tiny pepperonis out of the Hormel, like big, big bag. Oh my thing. god! But the, in the beginning, it was the big pepperonis. Uh huh. At the beginning, From it was the, the big pepperonis. And the the lady that uh, ran the office at the uh, apartment building I was in, she got a sandwich with pepperoni on it too and she, they're throwing down those little tiny pepperonis and she's like you know what you should get those big pepperonis and the guy just like looks at her like he was just like thanks for telling thanks me for telling girl me. <laughs> like they started off and then like halfway through the first month they didn't they didn't take credit card they would take debit but not credit and then they were cash only at the at the tail end of it mm-hmm. like just like watching the business fail and i was like uh, i can o- i could only afford to go there three times but <laughs> i wish i could have you know soldiered through and you know helped them you wouldn't have helped them they you were going that they if were i going bought down, a sandwich there every day they, they were going downhill too fast yeah. they were going down too fast it's like something went completely wrong in that situation. Mm-hmm. I wonder what it was. I don't know the place or know the situation to yeah. know, but I wonder what the what uh, was it that they, made them go sour so quickly. They didn't so put quickly. a decimal where it needed to be. Something happened yeah. wrong. So How did it go wrong so fast? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. I mean, I know uh, one of our friends, uh, Anthony, he was working for a guy he was talking about in uh, – when he first started working for the guy, he was got his business degree, so he's helping the guy with books and stuff like that, and, uh, managing his books. And he didn't even realize that the guy is like fully operating this business. And inside the business, I guess there's not too many differences because he's still spending the money in the right spots. But like financially, he was completely drowning, and mm-hmm. like employees and stuff don't know what's going on. And like I've seen that in so many situations where the employees have no clue that the owners are literally drowning. Yeah. And so they're not doing anything to help you. They're not like, oh, maybe I shouldn't throw this out because this is yeah. more money. Like they're not even trying to help because People they have no right. Right. But I mean, like if you told them. Would they help you? No. Maybe not. But you ain't tell them, so you don't know anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's something you. I don't think you're supposed to. Anyway, you're supposed to be like, hey, just say no. Like, you know. I'm struggling. You know, I, one, of, <laughs> one of my guilty pleasures is the uh, uh, the bar rescues. Yeah. And, you know, that's always. Play like, Janet Jackson. Yeah, play Janet Jackson. That's always like the bombshell. It's like, did you know that he's a, a quarter million dollars in the hole? And they're and like, they're what? Like, like this is my only job i got three kids Mm -hmm. and then they're like okay let's do it we'll do it for the business yeah it's silly though Mm -hmm. because in like yeah you're right people are selfish nobody's thinking about like oh you're just pouring extra shots for everybody like whose pocket is that coming out of but nobody thinks about that the invisible one 
Yeah, like that. The one that doesn't complain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like even at my job now, it's a it's a, a like family owned type deal, and the owner, everybody gets so upset at him about little stuff, but I don't. Like he's super hands on in the business, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. He's always checking stuff like, hey, hey, that's that's money right there. Hey, don't mm-hmm. give him too much. Like, and like people, it's like, oh my god, he's just nitpicking and being petty. But then I'm like, when I own a bit, I I look at him and I watch him because mm-hmm. I want to open up something for myself, right. for us. And I'm a, like, I need to. I like being around it because I need to be the same way. I need to be watching stuff and not like being reckless with just throwing things away and like, right, like emptying a can and it still got like a whole order. Mm-hmm. of some sauce in there or yeah i know like you know what i'm saying fred would talk about uh which is i'm not gonna have no cans and opening cans in my business right. we do everything from scratch i know fred would talk about like he would get mad like or like a chef would get mad at him if or somebody get mad at somebody if they like uh peel a potato to get the root off and mm-hmm. not use the little knock on there mm-hmm. to dig it out oh yeah because you wasted a bunch of the potato right yeah just like stuff like that yes i mean and one of those things is well the the chef has to control the budget so if he's Mm -hmm. not the owner of the place he's just the chef of the place if he's the owner and the chef that's even worse because he's really on your ass yeah but if he's just the chef of the place he's responsible for the budget so when numbers start that's the hard part about a chef position when the numbers start not matching up they're Mm -hmm. like hey where are we losing and why are we losing here why is food cost so high like you get in trouble for that right so it's a good practice to yeah you should use the little knob on the side because you gonna have to peel half that potato to get down to that yeah right <laughs> but then there's like also the argument that is the time that i spend like doing a project worth because you're already paying me just do it better just do it faster uh, okay but that's not always like like in like what i do like the money that i save people by doing something this way like figuring out a way to do something differently that might save mm-hmm. money. The time that I spend to figure that out, is it worth it? I don't know. Where I, I could get know. other stuff done at the same time. Right. You know what I mean? So that's something that I personally have to be conscious of. Yeah, definitely. Because I do think about that. I'm like, uh, well, you know, I could do this, but I do think mm. about the money side of that. And a kitchen is different though. It's like dishwashers don't get paid shit. Give them that task. Mm-hmm. So you ain't paying shit for it anyway. Right. <laughs> it's like get throw that task on on the person who get paid the least. Like, mm-hmm. which it sucks to say it like that, but that's kind of what happens. It's right. like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste the money that I spend on the the chefs trying to fucking dig out the little fucking parts in the potato. Just mm-hmm. throw that on a dishwasher who we don't pay him shit anyway. So it's like whatever. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> It sucks how all that works. Everything when it comes to money and business, like mm-hmm. everything is is so crazy sometimes. Mm-hmm. I work in a cutthroat business, but yeah. So uh, when I just picked you up from work, mm-hmm. and on the way home from work, we went to Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. You were so hungry. I didn't get to eat yet, though. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. Uh, and you ran in there. And you, you said... Don't say okay. it like that. Like, you were so hungry. Like, damn, you okay. be calling me a fat-ass bitch. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> so let me let me tell you what happened from my perspective. You run into the Taco Bell as fast as you can. Oh, don't do me yeah. like that, No, Kurt. I'm just saying. Don't like say that. I just run in there like... As fast as you can. <laughs> no, I didn't run as fast as I could. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there is one single... I, I wait in the car. There's one singular man eating his Taco Bell in there. Mm-hmm. And then he gets out and he leaves. Mm -hmm. And then you come out. And then right as you're hitting the door, this car pulls up next to us. Mm -hmm. And it's a bunch of like little kids. Well, they're not little kids, but they're young kids. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe early 20s. Yeah, early 20s. Listening to the hip hops. Mm -hmm. And uh, one uh, kid is throwing up West Sides. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh my God, it's fucking <laughs> these little fucking white kids in Ohio trying to be gangster. It looks so fucking silly. He's Sit down. Throwing up a uh, West Side uh, hand, and his his pants are all the way below his bottom. Mm-hmm. Like 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 his ass is out all the way. Mm-hmm. Right. And then I start the car because you're out. And then he pulls him up real quick. It's so funny. He pulled up his pants real quick. And then, like, the other guy gets out of the car. But you got to think, Carmen. You think they're silly for throwing up those west sides, but this is the west side. 
We li- it's we're just here. The, the behavior itself is silly. It's like you trying to be so fucking cool and you don't realize that everybody's looking at you as garbage. Mm-hmm. And like I look at the people here as disgusting. Not Don't every, not everybody. It's horrible. But that what we just saw tonight was disgusting. Like pull your pants it was up. Silly. Get back it was in the, kids it's, being kids. Yeah, kids being kids. But like uh, I just I grew up differently. And mm-hmm. it's like if I dropped them off in a neighborhood in Detroit, they wouldn't fucking survive. Like you would be looking crazy. But they're not in a neighborhood in Detroit. I know, but it's just like a false sense of reality. You just like walking around so tough like you just look crazy mm-hmm. it's like nobody's sagging their pants no more pull mm-hmm. your fucking pants up mm-hmm. it's like people wear skinny jeans now yeah. they're not sagging skinny their pants skinny jeans are cool I guess pants. you ain't wearing no skinny jeans uh, well, well some I should've of, got you a pair of skinny jeans some for of Christmas. them are pretty skinny right now no no they're not you yeah. ain't got no skinny jeans I got some jeans so tight it's hard to bend my knees <laughs> Kirk, none of your jeans are that tight. I can't bend my knees. I had to uh, change my change my pants for work because I was like, I was looking at this uh, little step that I had to get on, and I was like, man, I can't even bend my leg like that. To get on the step. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those, that Levi denim, it's, it's ain't no joke. Well, I I don't know. I tell you this much: them Levi's ain't never going in the freezer because that's craziness. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Like, who came up with that concept? Well, they say that if you wash your Levi's, you're not getting the true life of them. Mm-hmm. Right. But if you throw them in the freezer, that kills the bacteria and cleans them. Where does the bacteria go? It gets frozen. In the freezer? Yeah. With your food? Well, it's frozen, Carmen. Boy, that ain't right. Someone ain't right about that. Uh-huh. I got to read up on the full process. Maybe yeah. you're supposed to put them in a bag or something. <laughs> supposed to freeze your levi yeah mm-hmm. no that's super funny so we got this new air fryer and uh you got the white castle pizza rolls so i follow uh the white castles on instagram yeah so kirk knows all the stuff about i know what's coming out before it's out he got a white castle I know. fetish I know right now it's not a f- f- right now i mean uh, you got a shoes a belt a jacket a hat and you got pizza rolls yeah so well, you I got mean, this, this a lot going been on. years in the making, Carmen. Okay. Uh huh. That boy said, "Do you work at White Castle?" Yeah, he said, hey, "You work at White Castle." <laughs> and I said, "No." <laughs> I'm just wearing the clothes. Yeah, just wear their clothes. They got some designer <laughs> shit out here. <laughs> that boy was so confused that he had to ask. It's uh-huh. like he didn't care that this might affect your tip if you offend somebody. Uh-huh. He just, oh, I'm not offended. I know, but somebody else could have been. Uh-huh. But he had to ask because he needed to know. He needed to know. Do you work at White Castle? <laughs> no. <laughs> do they give out those that type of stuff at White Castle? I don't like, think no. so. I've no, seen, they do not. I've seen the people that work at White Castle. They, they don't get the they White Castle went. workers don't get nothing. That's a primo hat beautiful 3d stitching on there mm-hmm. embroidery oh no beautiful. they don't give you that at white they castle. don't give you that if you work at white castle that's for sure <laughs> <sighs> so you follow their instagram and you see that uh, i see that they got these like pizza roll type things a white castle burger in a pizza roll right well it's the ingredients of a white castle burger in the pizza roll in a pizza roll so the beef the onion the cheese mm-hmm. yeah what else do you need to know we he cooked them up. I cooked them up in that air they fryer. Ta- they taste. They taste like uh, white castle in a pizza roll. I kind of. I told you I, they kind of taste like a one of those Salisbury steaks you like so much. No, they don't. My Salisbury do. steaks taste great. <laughs> it's just trash. I love Salisbury it's steak. Trash. Oh my god! The last time I I uh, we were talking about Salisbury steak, I said. Uh, Oh, I'm gonna. I can buy you some all the Salisbury steaks too. I was like, gonna buy me some, and I was like, I can get you Salisbury steaks. Yeah, you here. wanted to get like the family meal. Yeah, yeah, get extra Salisbury. And you looked at me, and you was like, don't fucking get me Mm-mm. no Salisbury steak. You, you turned around, I you stopped you the conversation. I said you don't buy that for me. I don't like you. Put your foot down. Yeah. I am not eating no nope. Salisbury steak. I don't want even if though you, it's amazing. If you want to make it, that's fine. I'll be right there for you. No, I, no. What you but mean? But if you want to pull out that bank banquet Salisbury steak, oh, the banquet is the best. Though I'm not doing it. Well, I'm not making Salisbury steak when you got banquet. Banquet does it the best. I'm not. Why would you get the against... banquet when you can make it? Because banquet do it better than me. Uh-huh. I can't do no. I can't imitate no banquet. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. I love Salisbury steak. 
And then today I make sloppy joes. Mm -hmm. That's another thing Kirk don't like. No. Oh my God, you so difficult. Not a sloppy joe, man. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. I <laughs> I ate so the sloppy good, joe. I came home from my from my lunch today. I ate the sloppy joe, and then half of it's like on the thing, on the the bowl that I had it in. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the point? Then now, now what am I supposed to do? Well, maybe we should put them in hot dog buns like the, like the uh, loose burger. Definitely. Beyonce's had a sloppy Joe sub, Ugh. and people used to buy it. Can't do it. Oh my God, it's so good it's though. Wrong type but of our bread. our sloppy Joe sub used to only have ketchup in it, ketchup Ugh. and green peppers. That's it. Ugh. With hamburgers. <laughs> so gross. It's not that bad. It is. Ketchup is. <laughs> This is like the worst condiment. You think so? Yeah. I can't do ketchup. I don't do Every ketchup. Every once in a while I'll do a ketchup, but it got to be specific things that I do ketchup for, but I ketchup on my fries. Mm. I I don't I'm not going to eat fries if they're not good first off. Right. Like I, they got to be really good fries. They got to be the McDonald's fries or something or or uh Rallies. Rallies mm -hmm. got good fries. Uh something like that. If it's just regular like gross ass fries on a plate I'm not about to be dipping that in ketchup. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I mm -hmm. don't have any ketchup with my fries because the yeah. fries are fine on their own. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess you're right that it's the worst condiment, but you need to have it on some things. On a hot dog, you need it? No. Mustard. That's no it? No ketchup, yeah. <laughs> or you can throw other stuff. I like the Chicago. They put the tomato on there. Ew. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I need to open up. Uh, just a hot dog truck. So the but everybody got hot dog trucks. Yeah. You don't need to do that. No, I'm just joking. But that, I have to compete with Dirty Franks here. Not, okay. I, I'm, I'm going to beat them in a competition. I mm -hmm. feel like I can get crazy with some hot dogs. Yeah. Buy a bunch of ballpark Franks or Bar S. You know what? You hit them with the Bar S hot dogs. They won't even know. You if, don't you got good, if, you have, <laughs> if you have good toppings, no, you're right. You wouldn't. Yeah. You yeah. get a good Bar S hot dog. They cheap. So mm -hmm. then you got low overhead because you get the bar s hot dogs. What you would want to do get those bar s hot dogs and cook them in something, <laughs> like season the pan or something. <laughs> you know, that's too much for a hot dog. Nah, you, they all get like, boiled. Yeah, you put some like put some seasoning in that water, then you boil it. <laughs> you you got to do something different. <laughs> a hot dog is a hot dog. Uh, oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. One thing I miss about Maine is some red snappers, that's for sure. You like those? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Really good treat every now and again. The red snapper hot dogs is weird because, well, I mean, you could still get those. You could probably have to order them offline or something. But yeah. uh, the red snapper hot dogs, they look red, so you assume they're going to be spicy, but then you eat them and they taste like regular hot dogs. Yeah. So it throws but, you off. But they're in a natural casing, so they go mm -hmm. snap whenever you get them. Yeah. But I definitely thought it was going to be a different flavor, but it wasn't. No. <sighs> That's funny. Yeah. So we've been watching uh, Below Deck lately. Uh huh. No, not late. We spent one day watching Below Deck, and then we watched another episode. Oh, now we're on it now, though. Nah. Now we're Below Deck people. Mm -mm. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I just wanted to do something that I knew you would like, and you know, so watch the Below Deck. Did you really like it? You <laughs> pretended like you did. It's it's, it's something that uh, gets you going. Yeah, it's yeah, a good it's just show. one of those dumb shows that you can turn on and just zone out for. I love below. I love shows like that because whenever you live in a community with other people, you're always gonna have that stuff. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine living on a yacht for like, a, for a month or however long your tour is? Like even mm -hmm. if you're living on a yacht and then you go out for three days at a time, come back, go out for three days at a time. I mean, you mm -hmm. still stand a night on a yacht those three days. Like, right. can you imagine doing that yeah. in that small, tiny space? Yes. It's a little tiny space. Yeah, but you're out on the ocean. That one guy on one of the below decks that I watched, he ended up leaving. He couldn't fit in a bed. Mm -hmm. He was too big for the bed, so he was crunched up the whole time. He was yeah. like, I can't sleep. The bed's not big enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that sucks. You gotta yeah. be able to sleep. Yeah. He was just too large for the bed. That's what I'm saying. It's so small mm -hmm. in those little compartments on those private yachts. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could do it though. I think it'd be super fun to yeah, Well it's cool. a lot of it's a lot of but work. But it's like one of those it's one of those things where you you can only there's only a certain point where you can do that. 
Right, a certain point in your life. Right. And well, you he, can't have no kids. You can't no have kid, a significant yeah. other. Right. That's what one of the guys says. He's like, he was like, I don't really. Uh, I think girls are weird, you know. It's like, mm-hmm. but that's okay. I get to do this. I don't yeah, have a girlfriend, said, so uh, I get to do this. He said, uh, I grew up with a twin sister, and so girls yeah. are annoying. Yeah, <laughs> that's an interesting per- like take on women. Yeah, it's, it's like, like I had I to deal with a-, a girl my whole life, and they so annoying. And they're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and then you say. Yeah, girls are annoying. Yeah, I said, yeah, girls are annoying. Yeah, but they got like. got their things about them, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Be alone? Uh. Just going to be alone with <laughs> with your dog? He's trying to. Yeah. What do you need a dog for? Well, you need to. You got to have some type nah, of uh, don't need companionship. You need something. What? You have to get a cat or a dog. Nah. Man, I was looking for a, a pet for you. You don't need to do I'm that. Gonna bring that pet's not for me. No, it nope. is Kirk. Nope. It's for you, it's Kirk. For you me. like the plants. You like watching the plants grow. Yeah. So I figured you need something to take care of. But I don't though. Uh, yes, you do. Nope. You get something that's for you. I'm gonna get you something. I'm just gonna pop up one day with a random pet. No. Nope. Uh, here, I Kirk. <laughs> I don't want it. That's super funny. Uh, nope. You gotta. I don't want no smelly reptiles. Stinky fishes. <laughs> You want to get something like that where you got to clean the tank? You got to do it. Oh, uh, well, you the man of the house. I expect uh, but, you to do it. But you put the chore on to me. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. You might be right about that. Mm-hmm. Well, um, it's coming to the end of this podcast. I uh, want to wish everybody a happy New Year's. New Year, new us. Mm. <laughs> happy New Year to everybody. Thanks again for listening to another episode of the Sweet Gravy Podcast. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please go to sweetgravypot at gmail.com. You can also check us out on YouTube and every other streaming platform. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.